Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe. Uh, in this video, I want to go through my uh, NBA player prop simulation tool and just to show you how, how to use it and um, what you have to do. So uh, first time you're using it, you want to put your login here and press initialize login. Once you do that the first time, you're not going to have to do that anymore as long as you're um, still a member. Uh, then next, you want to go to the player props. This uh, is the page where it's going to show you all the stats. Let's clear it and just pull in today's, today's uh, latest data. So we can either pull it in with the season average 30-day average or the uh, uh, the projections. So I just click the projection button. So what it's going to do, it's going to pull in the stats for uh, for the projections. And so you're going to get the player, the team. It's going to show all the players um, with stats. And even the, this is going to show your projected assists, projected rebounds, and projected points for today, along with what their like their assist standard deviation is. Uh, that's just kind of the standard deviation, just kind of telling the range. Uh, like, say, if you're average five, you're going to get five assists, but your standard deviation is two, then your, your range is roughly like between three and seven. Um, I mean, it's just roughly, but, and that's going to help tell you what the spread of your outcomes are. And then we got the rebounds and standard deviation and the points and standard deviation. So this should come up um, in a second. So it's done, and when it's finished, it takes you right to the Assists tab. But we'll just quickly check back on the Player Props tab, and to see it's showing all the players, and it's got their assists. Um, it's showing all the players, so the ones with zero are just the players that aren't playing today. Um, and it's the rebounds and the points. And then if you want to go to Rebounds, Points, or Assists, let's just go to Assists. And it's going to show all the players that are playing today that, that uh, are projected for, I believe it's three assists or more for the game. So what we want to do now is we want to run the simulations. You just go over to here, you click the drop down, you can have anywhere between 50 and 5,000. I'm just going to do 50. Uh, I think 50 is, is good. I mean, you could do more, but I'm just going to go for it for this example uh, 50. And then now, once we have that, what we can do is kind of compare this to our, our uh, like I use DraftKings Sportsbook, but whatever one you use, and then you just kind of can do research and see which are your best plays. So I got, I have I have it open already, and I've got it right to the Boston game. So, so Boston's playing Portland, and let's look at I'm gonna look at Marcus Smart. So his over under <clears throat> is 5.5 assists. So when I go back to the tab, I'm gonna look at Marcus Smart, scroll over, and 64% of the time. He gets over 5.5, so I think that's pretty good odds. Plus, when you're getting plus 115, so I would take that. I would I would probably bet this one. Uh, that seems like a pretty good odds. And you can just you would just keep doing this for assist, rebounds, whatever you want. Um, we got Boston open, so let's uh, check out Malcolm Brogdon. Um, what is here? His over under is 3.5, and 60% of the time, he went over 3.5. So, I mean, you got to give minus 110. It could be an okay play, but I would I would definitely do the Marcus Smart. I'd probably avoid that one. Let's look at Damian Lillard. Uh, the player names come up alphabetical order by the first name in reverse. So, see, it goes down from P down to N down here is Lillard. And... Let's see, here's some alternate assist lines. He gets 10 plus, he gets plus 500. So it's pretty much, you're gonna get five times your money. And what are his odds of getting that? Well, 20%, so it's almost right on. So I probably wouldn't wouldn't bet that one. But then, so this is just kind of like a hit and miss, go back and forth and see um, what's good. So Marcus Smart would probably be in the play from here. And let's, we can do another, let's look at rebounds. So I'm gonna run rebounds and say I'm gonna do 100 simulations. Press the button and then simulations are complete. So now let's see, let's go to rebounds here. So I'm gonna go to, uh, where is it? Player rebounds. And Nurkic, let's see, uh, what's his over under? Um, is he even in here? I oh, know I don't even see him in here. So let's see. Let's find someone else. And rebounds too. I believe it's like over 
four maybe if you got to be averaging four let's see Lillard here 4.9 rebounds he's projected for and over under here is 5.5 so let's see how often he gets over 5.5 from our simulations 38% of the time so that's not too good but it means he went under 5.5 62% of the time so 62% of the time he goes under and it's only a minus 125. So that's, that's not too bad. That maybe would be a play that I, um, I would think about doing. Um, this minus 125 is not too bad for something that you're going to get almost two thirds of the time you, you're going to win at. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of go through You could do the same for points. You just keep going through finding the plays you want and then bet them. And when the, the next day comes, you're just going to come over to here, clear the sheet, and pull in the new, the new day's data. Uh, so that's it. Um, this will be uh, all available on the, the simulation the suite. Check out the link below. Um, there's also a coupon code if um, down below if for the first uh, five or six days that this is open. And if you're watching this afterwards, um, just check back at the site. Occasionally, um, I'll, I'll probably have more coupon codes once once in a while but um good luck um, let me know if you got questions or if you find any any ideas of stuff you want to um add in there like for improvements uh thanks and good luck bye